With this video, I'm going to start uh, discussing applications of algebra using the software Maxima. I chose algebra because it's one of the elementary mathematics that we do. And I think Maxima is well suited to do algebra. And so I'm going to, I'm going to teach, they're going to teach a, a short course on, on algebra, let's say, using um, Maxima. Let's get started looking at this uh, document. The documents will be available for you to download. This is the textbook I used when I was a high school student, or a middle school student, actually. And I, I'm, I'm basing my um, presentations using this textbook. It was published back in 1941 for the first time, but it's still in use. It's very elementary, but it has a lot of problems to work. And so there's a whole lot of definitions here that if you have the document, I invite you to download and read it. If you want to follow my video, what you can do here is pause the video, read these definitions, because uh, they're very simple, right, really, and you, you know what numbers, uh, letters, formulas, symbols, coefficients, relational symbols, grouping symbols, and so on. The numeric, uh, the, the numeric line with negative and positive numbers. And so take your time to read these definitions and can pause the video and continue with me. Um, so we're talking about numbers when you add, we mostly work with positive numbers to start with, and then you end up situations like this where you get 5 minus 9. Remember to enter shift enter to conduct an operation in maxima. And with 5 minus 9, you get to a negative number, right? And so 5 minus 9 is, is like adding 5 and the negative number minus 9, and you get exactly the same result. Then we go into algebraic notation. What is an algebraic expression? Is anything that combines coefficients with letters and numbers. And what I have here is a list. A list is a series of elements separated by commas and enclosed with brackets. And if I click on top and I do shift enter, then you're, there, there's this first element A, then there's 5x, and there's 2 square root of A, and B plus A times C, and A times 5x minus 3y divided by, by x squared. These are all algebraic expression. And when you have a single algebraic expression that is not added or subtracted, you get those terms. You, you, you call them terms. And these are a few terms. And a term has a degree. For example, this B is raised to the first power, so it's the first degree. Uh, and that degree can, can be in terms of combining the degrees of these two terms will be a second degree and so on. And when you have a single term expression, that is called a monomial. If you get a summation of several expressions, you get a polynomial. If that polynomial has only two terms, it's called a binomial. If it has three terms, it's called a trinomial. I have a bunch of examples in here. If I click on top and I do shift enter, then you can see the monomials here, the polynomials. These polynomials are called binomials and these are called trinomials. Then I invite you to pause and read the document or read here the screen. The definition of the degrees, here's a polynomial of on a single variable x and is of degree 4. This one it has a and x and if you add the exponents of it, so they all add to 6. So this polynomial is of order 6 in the combinations of a and b. Depending on the type of of um, coefficients, your polynomials could be integer. Let me show you here. Shift enter. These are the first one is an integer. The next one is fractional because they have fractional um, uh, coefficients. This one has literals in the denominator. This one has radicals, so it's irrational. This is homogeneous because it has all the terms of the same absolute degree. This is heterogeneous because it has different degrees. Complete polynomial with respect to the letters would be like these. If you do shift enter, you get a fifth degree polynomial x. Then you get fifth degree polynomials in A and B. And we can order it with respect to a letter. Maxima tends to give you the, the highest order first. Let's check out this example right here. Shift enter. 
Okay, the first one is only on X, so it is ordered from X down. The next one is on X and Y, and for some reason, Maxima tends to give you the later letter, the Y first, and order them with respect to that letter. You just got to be aware of that. Similar terms. Similar terms are those that have similar literal parts, like 2A and A, 2 minus 2B and 8B, A cubed, B cubed, multiplied by minus 5 or minus 8, X to the N plus 1, 3 X to the N plus 1. So those are similar terms. And how you reduce them? Well, you apply the rules of multiplication, the addition and summation. And so this, all these terms right here get reduced to minus 23A to the M. These are similar terms. This are minus M squared plus times n get reduced to 5 m squared times n and then you had these terms right here if you want to see these terms in detail you could go ahead and copy here select do control c click below say control v and do shift enter and that's how this first term right here get reduced to this term reduction of polynomial with similar terms of different types is basically just collecting and going to um, copy these well i think i can do it right here shift it's already um collected so i'm going to copy this here to show you what this polynomial will look like control v shift it actually does the collection itself so terms like a square multiplied by 15 and this minus a square and this a square will all be combined into 8a square and independent terms like 20 and it gives you minus 11 so you can check on those um, on your own numerical value here's a a trinomial in x and you can use the function subst that means substitute x equal 2 into x squared plus 1 and it gives me a numerical value of 7. Here I have several elements in this list involving a and b and I'm going to give to a the value of 1 and b the value of b. I can put in a list 2 and I can do the substitution all at once to give me those four terms after substitution. Here you have two terms in the right hand side, three terms in the left hand side x, y and z and that will give me that numerical replacement. Algebraic notation, if I have A dollars and receive B dollars and use the money to buy A minus two books, what is the price of each book? Well, the total amount of money will be A plus B dollars and then the price the price of each book will be T divided by A minus two. So it's B by plus A, A minus two. And so this is algebra, the ability of express quantities in letters. Here's another example that you want to try on your own, read it and interpret the result, but this is the result that you will get. The next section talks about numbers. Again, you probably already know what a positive number is, a negative number, rational numbers, irrational numbers. If you don't, you can go ahead, pause this video, read this, or if you have the document that you download with this video, then you can read it from there using Maxima. Maxima is a symbolic software. It's gonna to tend to give you results like this, square root of 13, and the simplification of 25 or 125 is one fifth. If you want to see the equivalent decimal numbers, use float and then use the percentage number. The percentage number in any maxima command means the most immediate result. So these results would be presented as floating point or decimals. The numbers pi and e are represented by percentage pi percentage e, and it will be shown symbolically like this. E is the base of the natural logarithms and the corresponding value of pi and E are this shown in this screen. This is a series of rules of operation with real numbers. I invite you to pause and read them or read them directly in the documentation. You may remember the fact that multiplying positive numbers give you positive, positive times negative or negative times positive gives you negative and two negative numbers give you positive. And so here I have examples of those operations on, with numbers. These are uh, summations and subtractions. These are products, divisions, will produce the fractions. And if you want to see them as decimals, use float.
or floating point. These are powers. Square root is written as QRT. Rules of poten uh, powers. Oh, I, I wrote it in Spanish. Here should be roots of powers. A to the n times a to the n is a times a to the a n plus m. A to the m raised to the n is it should be a times m times n. I don't know why I didn't do it here. And division would be n to the minus m. The square root is also half power. Cubic root is one third power, and so on. So with that. I will conclude with this example we finish this presentation regarding our first video on algebra introduction definitions and numbers and we'll continue with more videos in uh, uh, regarding algebra